Hi everyone. Today is part two of the parabolas. We're going to talk specifically about the parametric form of the parabola and how to change from Cartesian to parametric form and vice versa. So let's start with a little bit of review. First of all, the first formula is x minus h, the quantity squared equals 4c, bracket y minus k. Now think for a minute, which way does this one open? When x is squared, the parabola opens either up or down based on the sign of c. To make a parabola that opens either right or left, you switch the brackets, so the y minus k is the one that's squared, and it's 4c bracket x minus h, and that one either opens to the right or to the left, and the direction of opening is determined by the sign of c. So the information you can get from both of these formulas is that the vertex is h and k, and c happens to be the distance from the vertex to the focus. It is also the distance from the vertex to the directrix. Now, in reality, C can be positive or negative. The sign of C tells you which direction you go for the focus. The opposite of C tells you which way to go for the directrix. So let's start by discussing the parametric form of the parabola. Remember that par parametric equations come in pairs. The first pair is x equals and y equals, of course. They both start with h and k. x equals h, y equals k plus... Now these are the only two that do not have trig functions attached to them. They are simply c t squared and then 2 c t. This is a little backwards because if you look up here, when x is squared, it opens up and down. Here, if x has the squared t in it, it does the opposite of what you think. This one actually opens right or left. This is a horizontal parabola. Now, in order to get the vertical parabolas, you still keep h and k in front of the x and y, but you switch the entire second terms. This one gets the 2ct, this one gets the ct squared and this makes the parabolas open up or down, which we call a vertical parabola. So I'm actually going to go back up here and make a note of these. Vertical first, horizontal second, because once you determine the direction of opening in one form, you know which form to go to for the other one. So now let's do a sample problem. The problem is going to say state the vertex, focus, directrix, and the equation for the parabola. State the vertex, focus, directrix, and the equation for the parabola. I'm giving it to you in parametric form. x equals 4 plus 6t squared. y equals negative 1 plus 12t. All right, so the first thing we need to figure out is which of these two formulas, parametric formulas, does this one mimic? Because the squared term is with the x, it matches the first form, which is a horizontal parabola. This one is horizontal. Can you tell me what h and k are? They're pretty straightforward. h is 4 because it's with the x, k is negative 1 because it's with the y. Now, please don't get confused about insider's lie. There are no brackets here, so nothing's changing sign. It is exactly what it says it should be. Now, my next question is, what is C? Now, if you look at the formula, notice that it says H plus CT squared. 4 plus 6T squared. Well, it's right there. The coefficient on the squared term is your C. So, in this case, it's C equals 6. You can actually find the vertex, focus, and directrix before you write it in the other form. And I actually think it's a little bit easier because you've already got the three pieces of information you need in order to do this. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to write down vertex, focus, and directrix. 
and I'm going to find all of those pieces of information. Remember that the vertex is just h and k, so it's 4 and negative 1. What I taught you before was the fact that c tells you which way you need to go to find your focus. Which direction is this one going to open based on these two models up here? When c is positive, which one am I doing? I am doing the opening to the right. So this one opens to the right. So if that's the case, in order to find the focus, this is my workings over here, I am going to add 6. I'm going to go 6 units to the right of my vertex. And if I'm moving to the right, which variable is changing? The x is changing. So it's going to be 4 to the right 6 with negative 1. So that tells me that my focus is 10 and negative 1. Now, to find the directrix, I am going to go C units in the opposite direction of what I just went. So instead of going 6 units to the right, I'm going to go 6 units to the left. And my directrix, remember, is a line. It's either an x equals line or a y equals line. To know which one it is, what did you change on your focus? I changed my x, so the directrix is also an x equals equation, and it's going to be 4 minus 6 for the directrix, which means that it's going to be x equals negative 2. So now I have the vertex, the focus, and the directrix for this parabola, and now I need to write it in Cartesian form, and the equation is going to be as follows. It's going to be some bracket squared and equals a number and then another bracket. All right, this one is a horizontal parabola. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the page. I want to make sure I use the horizontal formula. Horizontal formula is the one that has y squared. So I'm going to plug in my k, my c, and my h. So this is going to be y minus k, so that's plus 1 squared equals 4c. c is 6, so 4c will be 24, x minus 4, and I'm done. Let's do another practice problem. This is a revision of completing the square. So this example will say, write the parametric form of the parabola. My formula is going to be as follows. x squared minus 8x plus 12y minus 20 equals 0. Just to review, how do I know that's a parabola? I know it's a parabola because I have one variable that is squared. And that makes it actually easier to complete the square to find the equation. So step one, take the squared variable and anything that has the same variable, put it in a bracket plus blank. Everything else goes on the other side, so it will be negative 12y plus 20 plus a blank. Now it's time to factorize this side. I have negative 8. I have to break it into two equal brackets, so it's going to be negative 4 and negative 4, which means that this is going to be x minus 4, the quantity squared. What goes in the blank? It will be positive 16. Remember, it's going to be these two terms multiplied together. What goes on the other side? It is also a positive 16. There's no coefficient in the front to affect it, like we saw a lot on the ellipses and hyperbolas. So now the right-hand side is going to say negative 12y plus 36. Now remember that for the correct form, the right side of the equation has to be a number and then a bracket. It has to be a number, then a bracket, with just either a single x or a single y on it. So whatever number is in front of y here, I must factor the entire thing out, sign and all. So negative 12 comes out, then it's y. Now what number comes after it to make a positive 36? It would be negative 3. So now my equation is in graphing form and I can find the pieces of information that I need. I need h, I need k, and I need c. Take a second and find those three. 
Look very carefully at C. I'm in the process of working it. This number is negative 12, so you will divide it by 4 to find your C value. I really need one more piece of information, and that is which way is this a horizontal or a vertical parabola? If you're not sure, look at your formula sheet. This one happens to be vertical. So I'm going to come over to the side, write my two equations, x equals and y equals. h goes with x, k goes with y. Just to double check, let's go back here. I need the vertical equation. Here's the vertical. y gets the squared one. x is 2 times c times t. So it's going to be 2 times c, which is negative 6, t. And then, this one is supposed to be ct squared, so negative 3t squared. Now, if you want to write this as just 4 minus 6t and 3 minus 3t squared, that's totally fine. I just, out of habit, put a plus sign in there first. So there is the parametric form of that parabola. All right, that's the lesson for today. Here is your assignment. In the Griffith book, this is section 1.8 which is on page 19. You can do even either the odds or the evens. And in the Delta book, this is section 2.06, which is on page 43. I strongly recommend you do all of them. All right, that's it for this lesson. Good luck with it, and let me know if you have any questions.